Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collection video for you of the collab of Coach X John Michel Basquiat. And it's one of my favorite collabs in recent coach history. I seen this hit the site and I just went crazy. Before we get into it though, I do wanna thank each and every one of my subscribers. Thank you so much. We're a uh, little over 500 subscribers strong. And I have a goal of getting to a thousand subscribers and YouTube tells me the majority of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you're liking this content, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that bell notification to make sure you get notified every time I post a video, which is gonna be at least once a week and has been since I've debuted. Um, let's just immediately get into it because I'm super excited about this collection in no particular order, but I'm gonna start with my little SLGs that I have. First is gonna be this uh, bag charm. This, I believe at first, was a UK exclusive or a Europe ex exclusive. Um, and it wasn't available when it launched here in the States, but this showed up after the collab had launched and I really, really liked it. And I just like, like, it's extra. You guys know me, extra on extra. So, I mean, look at the size compared to like my face. Most bag charms are not gonna be like this. And I love the extra detail that they have in the back there. I don't know if you guys can see but it's uh, red stitching and it's also like a glitter stitch, a metallic stitch, it says stopped in transit, as well as the crown in the front also has sparkles to it as well and is embroidered just like the back. I really, really like this piece. It really stands out a lot. I love that. That is the color ivory. This is very highly sought after because um, it just sold out immediately. And luckily I was able to grab one, I actually grabbed two. Um, and I passed on the other one to a fellow group member on Facebook. Pez dispenser bag charm. This goes so cute on everything. Most people think that this is a Rexy, but I think Coach purposely picked this for a reason because it reminds people of Rexy, but it's actually called Pez dispenser. So it's not really a Rexy, but I mean, how perfect does that go with the branding of Coach? So the majority of my collection is retail. 99.9% .9 of my retail, uh, my collection for the John Michelle Boss collab is actually retail I only have one outlet piece and that is this scarf and I thought this was super cute I had to have it because it has the Pez dispenser and you guys know I'm normally not a big fan of <clears throat> the signature but for some reason with that pop of color on the front like how vibrant this is let me see if I can get back this is the diamond scarf I mean, I feel like it just looks really cute. And then plus when it's gonna be tied up, you're gonna see a lot of the color there, not as much as the signature. And it's actually gonna go perfect with an item that I'm gonna show you here in a second. I believe these you can still find around, um, they'll pop up every now and then on the outlet site, but this is the only outlet piece that I do have. And I actually really, really, really like it. The retail version of this was all white and I was scared that, you know, it's gonna to get too dirty. So with this, with a pattern, you're not gonna have to worry about that. Next, I'm gonna go with this Alley belt bag. This is super, 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 super cute. I love this. I picked this up from another group member, Don. Hey, Don. Um, this, I was on the fence about this because I didn't know too much about this style. I picked this up after the fact when it showed up on the outlet. Uh, but I really, really liked the elm color of my Rogue. So I was like, uh, okay, I'll just have to get it because the color, one, I absolutely love, especially with this brass hardware. And look how cute this thing is. So it's got a little top handle. I mean, can't really squeeze your fingers in there too much. I mean, I got man hands, but you know. <laughs> so it goes around to the back. And so this is a convertible belt bag. So it gives you more than one option on how to wear this. So here you guys see the little belt loops. I'll show you guys the straps that it comes with, but you can use it as a belt bag on uh, like a regular belt. It's got the little embroider back here that's also metallic and shiny. I love, love the extra little details. That was one of my biggest things that I loved about the collection was the attention to detail that they did. The embroidery around here was amazing. Just like the front. I mean, it's very sensory. Touching these is pretty amazing. <clears throat> you have that embroidery. This part of the building here is embroidered. The windows on the building 
has that metallic little bling to it. So as you guys can see, these little D-rings, that allows you to wear it crossbody instead of as a belt bag. I love like the value of this because you got two things. So this is the strap that you can use crossbody. Um, I do have the belt that comes with it, not in the bag because it's a little bit too big to fit in here. It is leather lined. I love that about it. It's got credit card slots galore. I love this little thing. It packs a big punch. And if you're gonna use it as a crossbody, hey, you got a belt to wear also. So two in one for the price that this was, like you can't really beat it. This is um, the square bag, I believe is what they call these. Um, it was giving me just like vintage lunchbox and I absolutely love that. And the fun little print on the front, this is actually a, um, a picture that he drew. Andy Warhol was used for the cover of a music group's um, album. And it had something to do with bananas. And I guess from that, uh, John Michel Basquiat decided, hey, I'm gonna make a portrait of him, but I'm gonna make him look like a banana. And a lot of people look at this and they think, well, it's a eye-patched pirate banana. But what I see is actually a profile shot of him with his glasses that he always wore. So you'll see the band going, um, that would be to his ear and one of the lenses on the side. That's what I get from it. You have his wig that he always wore and you guys can't really see it, but you can really feel like they embroidered this a lot. The little spots on there, the outline that goes around the banana, that's all embroidered. I absolutely love that. This side's blank and on the back, it has some more of his artwork. A lot of it is, um, all this is like embossed into the leather. And I mean, just feeling it, it's just fun. And this has a little sparkles there as well. And on the side, I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but it's also red, glittery. It's super cute, super fun. Leather line, it's not a big opening, but hey, it's such a fun little bag, but this packs a big punch. This carries a lot and is definitely a statement piece. This is the Rogue 25 with Pez dispenser on the front. You guys, what I said earlier, I mean, that goes perfectly with it. I could just tie it around. It would look super, super cute on there. I do love that this has the suede gussets on the side. I really, really like any Rogues that has suede like that. It's got the embroidering here on, I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the little spikes on the Pez dispenser, but those are actually metallic embroidering there. There's embroidering on the crown. There's just so much detail everywhere. A little hay there. The back says very obvious askew off base. And that's also the little initials there are metallic as well. I absolutely love this bag. And this was the first introduction into the new rogues that was just mind blowing to people because what bothered people about the rogues is that the handles get stuck in this position. But the new versions, as you guys know, if you're a rogue fan, you know that now they fold over and it makes storing and everyday just like livability about it so much easier without it having to like bend the leather or just sit really weird or make it awkward to come in and out. Absolutely love this Rogue. And this Elm color, I'm obsessed with a little mini briefcase. This is the Rogue 25 brief. I have the larger version of the slim brief and the regular size of the Rogue brief. And previously, a lot of manufacturers, a lot of designers, and Coach as well did not make a lot of men's mini bags. And I love mini bags, as you guys know from all my previous videos. So when I seen that they were doing a mini briefcase, come on, you guys, a mini briefcase. How cute is that? I absolutely had to get it. And it has the Pez dispenser on the front that I absolutely love. That's just the main art piece there. It's very functional for being a briefcase. It's got pocket in the front, pocket in the back, and the main zip. I absolutely love this. 
little writing there. I don't know if you can always pick that up. But I love this little thing and how cute is it like walking in like boom briefcase but hey it's a miniature size. Yes. I love this and this was also a two for one just like that belt bag because look at the strap came with you guys. A nice thick strap that you can use with your other bags. It has famous written on there. As you guys will see in one of my other robes, that's another theme that's across it. It's got a crown there as well. I absolutely love this. It's thick and it's sturdy and it sits on the shoulder really well. And I can just use it with anything else that has that matching hardware or mismatch hardware, whatever look you want to go for. I love that they did this two for one. Love that. I like the banana so much, little Andy, that was on the square bag. I had to get the Rogue 25 with the same artwork in the front. It is done a little bit different. I, but I mean, I love this color. This color I believe is called Cinder, which leans a little bit more of a blue toned gray, but it's definitely a gray. When I first seen the pictures, I was on the fence if I wanted it because I'm like, it looks like a baby blue. I do love baby blue. I used to have a baby blue electric Fiat that I absolutely loved, but I just don't really have anything in my collection that would fit well with the baby blue. So I was on the fence and I reached out to other people that had this bag and they're like, no, it is definitely gray. So I'm like, you know what? I'll go for it. And that smooth glove tan leather, oh, previously that didn't make too many um, smooth leather robes, I believe in the previous generations, you have to get it uh, made to order uh, done. So when I seen this, I had to have it. I did add this clochette. You guys know the current generation does not come with the clochette. So I went ahead and I added that because I just feel like rogues, they need it. So this one has the snakeskin handles. If you guys look really closely, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but there is like very light hints of blue in here that you see it in person from afar. It's not like very noticeable, but up close, once you look at it, you do start seeing those blue speckles in there. And I love that in the back, it's got some more of his artwork there and it's got the A's and O's all embroidered there. The car's embroidered, all this is actually every piece on here is embroidered in the back, but the letterings and the two circles down here, those are the sparkly um, stitching on there. Absolutely love this one. It's got those handles and it's got the smooth glove tan leather on the interior. And it also has some writing on here. It says new clothes on all the time. And I just love that little detail like that because it just makes you feel good when you wear it. Like you're getting into your bag and oh, okay. I'm at the store buying more clothes and here I am. Love this little guy. Great size for uh, an everyday use bag. This is the uh, triangle bag, I believe. It's not like the previous smaller triangle bag. A lot of people call this the pizza box bag because of the shape. But to me in the collection, this is one of the most eye-catching pieces that are on here. I believe they only used it for the retail line in one backpack so um, this is going to be one of the only pieces that you get this one the backpack maybe the tote don't quote me on that one the rogue tote the gigantic one the 38 but i absolutely love this piece and when you get this in person and you just look at it it's just so intricate there's so much detail there's so much going on and that's one of the things that i absolutely loved about his pieces is just there was just so much going on and the longer you stared at it, the more that you'd seen so we have that piece there in the front. We have the world famous writing there on the side, Raton, which is rat in Spanish. And right here it says immortality. I love this little piece. And look, everywhere you go, there's something. And the buckle, I don't know if you guys can see that there. You see the little elephant that they added there as well. It's just the details that did this for me that just, really drew me in the the extra detail the train that thought that went into all of this i absolutely love this was one of the few items in the collection that actually had a double hang tag that came with it because actually this is a 
double limited collection. So not only is this part of the John Michelle Basquiat collection, but it is also part of the uh, City Blocks collection, which I have a few other pieces from the City Blocks collection. They're so fun. They're so unique. And this is another two-in-one. So you can wear it with the wristlet strap there, or if you don't want to carry it like that, this one also came with a crossbody strap, a nice, decently sized crossbody strap that you can connect to the sides and um, <clears throat> wear it crossbody. And look, you guys keep hearing me say attention, attention to detail. You open this. Look, there is a oh, other side. There is a embroidered star on the inside. Like they didn't have to do that, but they with this bag in particular they really went over the top with the details and i absolutely love that a lot of this collection the majority of this collection has amazing details to it and that's just one of the things that i absolutely loved about this and it does have a credit card slot and a back pocket there this fits just enough i can put my pill case and you know you guys remember my raggedy pill case um that fits in here i can fit my phone in here a hand sanitizer and my airpods so all that can fit in here so if you do come across this this is kind of rare to come across on the resale market it immediately sold out in retail but if you do come across it don't be scared of it if you like very avant-garde very fun out there pieces this is a conversation piece. Like if I had a nickel for every time someone came up to me and asked me, oh, what is that? Who made that? And we would just sit there and talk to a complete stranger for a while, just going over the bag because it's just so unique and it stands out. Absolutely love, love, love that. Next one is the Rogue 39 in the color ivory. This is a stunning piece. Look at everything that's going on, the different colors, the textures. Just think of everything that you can wear this with. It's got the snakeskin handles up here, along with the snakeskin um, hang tag there as well. You have the crown on the side. You have the elephant in the back and where it says for hire there as well. This is just a stunning color. It's off-white. I, I think it's really, really pretty. And with all those colors in there, you can just wear it with so much. This was the first introduction to the new robes when it came to the 39. They, if you guys are curious about previous uh, Rogue 39 and the current Rogue 39, there was only two iterations of it thus far. Um, there's a huge, huge difference on this 39 and the first generation. The first generation was very puddle um, and it would just squish in if you didn't have it filled in. Uh, but I love that. I love the squish, like it was so buttery soft and it's just, it's, it's very textured and I loved it. But this new 39, when I seen this, I was like, whoa, it looks completely different. Same basic kind of idea, but the thing that a lot of people didn't like about the previous 39 was that it would just all cave in on itself. So the geniuses at Coach decided, let's come out with a new 39, but let's make sure that it won't cave in on itself, but give people just enough squish. And that's exactly what they did with this. Because what happens when, this is stuffed right now, but when you unstuff it, so the center, you still get that squish in the middle here. You'll see it more in my um, the famous one that I'm gonna show you guys next. But the structure all the way around is actually reinforced and it's been completely restu restructured. So it holds its shape even if you don't have anything in there. The only thing that smushes is the center piece here with the handles. And I absolutely love that they did that. The inside, same formula. It's suede, I believe this is um, goldenrod suede on the inside. Absolutely love, love, love that. All right, and last but definitely not least is my favorite piece in the entire collection and apparently to everybody else it was too because it sold out right away. It is the Rogue 39, but in black. This one was, I mean, when I seen this, 
this was my first retail purchase full price i was like i don't care how much it costs send it my way because it was so stunning and that was just in the pictures my essay um in las vegas at the time he sent me pictures and he's like they brought back the 39 and i gasped and i said send it my way look at this color like classic black but it's just like the pebbling is gorgeous on it it screams famous yes. on the front and you guys know i like extra on extra this crown is embroidered right in the front just like my other ones this didn't come with the clochette i had an extra one here so i went ahead and added that and look it just adds so much more like it needs any help this has the snakeskin handles and also the snakeskin zipper belt the ivory the ivory one that i just showed you guys does not have that snakeskin belt. This one, they added that extra little snakeskin that goes across it. You guys can see that in the center there. Look at that color, like that brown tone with that eggplant center, that suede, simply stunning with the brass hardware. Oh, I love the brass hardware. And if you thought the front was gorgeous, you guys look at what's going on in the back. Look at all of that detail so this is all embossed in there and painted um, i'm sure it's some kind of screening uh process that they used the embroidery there is the sparkles as well and i stood there and i stared at this thing for a while when i first got it i'm like what in the world is it like what's going on here and then i realized that this is a car and that is a car. This is a car accident scene. This is a forever rogue. This, I will never get rid of this. This thing is gonna, you know, go with me to the grave because this is just such a beautiful piece. The attention to detail, the snake skin, that it's just everything that I love about a bag. And what I was saying earlier, you guys see the smush? The smush only happens in the center. And the rest of the bag just stays perky and does not puddle into itself. I love that about the new 39s. It gives you very, like, briefcase when you're carrying it. But when you put it down, it's just a fun, squishy moment that I absolutely love, 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 love. So that is it. That is my entire Basquiat collection. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for sticking around. See you guys next time. Bye.